All right now to the city of Dearborn, winning a large nearly $25 million grant from the federal government to redevelop a dangerous driving district. A program called Safe Streets and Roads for All is giving out grants aimed at preventing roadway deaths and serious injuries. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast sat down with Dearborn's mayor and a local business owner to learn how that money will be used and the impact it could have on the community. One of Dearborn's busiest roads, Warren Avenue, is a major thoroughfare full of local businesses. Some are decades old, like Warren Bike Shop, opened in 1972. We do sales, repairs, we get all kind of customers. Muhammad Sheikh's father opened the shop 51 years ago, and it's been in the same spot ever since. While their inventory has changed, the street it's named after hasn't seen any investment in over 20 years until now. We we're happy to hear that there's such a grant for Warren Avenue. Along with Detroit, the city of Dearborn won a grant for $25 million from the federal government, all of it going towards this two-mile stretch of Warren Avenue. I think they understand the significance of such a sum of money and the importance of this grant, providing us an opportunity to re-inject life into really what's a thriving business corridor in the heartbeat of our city. Mayor Abdullah Hamoud says the city is making Warren Avenue a formal business district, adding facade improvements and branded signs. But the $25 million will be used for safety changes. Warren is known to have many accidents. Um, we had many unfortunate uh, pedestrians that lost their lives over the last year or so. In the last year, two pedestrians have been killed on Warren Avenue. One was an 82-year-old woman killed on September 5th while crossing Warren Avenue near Frieda Street. But the first happened right here in the spot on Warren Avenue back in January. The man that was killed was actually the uncle of Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. She wrote a letter in this application to help secure funding for safety improvements. Some of the things we're talking about is how you do bump outs to allow for safer on-street parking, create biking and pedestrian pathways across the two-mile stretch. The exact changes are still in the planning phase, but bike lanes and pedestrian crossings would be a huge help for Warren bikes, hoping any investment will keep them here for another 51 years. I think it's an excellent idea. I think it's very good for the community. It's also good for safety and uh, it's good for everybody. And 2024 will be the planning phase of this project with construction starting in either 2025 or 2026. In Dearborn, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brett.